friends, welcome again. Now this is turn of simplex table 4. We had already prepared simplex table 3 in the previous lecture <coughs> and we found that the solution is not optimal because one of the delta J values is since ne still negative and this is minimization case all delta values should be 0 or positive to have the optimal solution. So we need to prepare simplex table 4. The key row is R6 and the key column is S1. Now what? Again we have to prepare R8 first and R8 is the result of R6 divided by 1 by 60. R6 divided by 1 by 60. That means we need to multiply R6 by inverse of 1 by 60. That means it is 60 into R6. Try to understand this one. Many students perform mistake in this type of cases. So 1 into 60 is 60. 0 into 60 is 0. 1 by 60 into 60 is 1. Minus 1 by 60 into 60 is minus 1. 40 into 60 is 2400. Now only we can prepare row 7. Row 7 will take place of row 5. So old row minus sign element in the key column minus 2 by 75 into replaced row R8. Ultimately it will be something like R5 minus into minus plus 2 by 75 R8. R7 or rather R5 is 0 here plus according to formula 2 by 75 according to formula into 60 means R8. So it is 0 plus. 120 by 75. So we write 120 by 75. We can also write it as 8 by 5. It is 8 by 5. And I advise you to write the minimum possible value of the fraction. So we write 8 by 5. Here R5 is 1 plus sign according to formula 2 by 75 according to formula R8 means 0 here so 1 plus 0 1 see now there is no unit matrix between x and x1 and x2 in the previous table there was a unit matrix of x1 and x2 but that was not the optimal solution now minus 2 by 75 is R5 here plus sign according to formula 2 by 75 according to formula into R8 means 1 here. So it is minus 2 by 75 plus 2 by 75 ultimately it is 0. R5 is here 1 upon 150 plus sign according to formula 2 by 75 according to formula and R8 here is minus 1. So it is 1 upon 150 plus minus 2 by 75. So it is minus 2 by 75. 1 upon 150 minus 2 by 75. 150 is the LCM of 150 and 75. 150 divided by 150 is in 1. 1 into 1 is 1 minus 150 divided by 75 is 2. 2 into 2 is 4. 1 minus 4 is minus 3 by 150. So ultimately it comes to minus 1 by 50. Now R5 is 80 here. 80 plus sign according to formula. 2 by 75 into R8 means 2400. So it will be 80 plus. Now 2 into 2400 is 4800 divided by 75. Yes. 4800 divided by 75. Or simply 1200 divided, uh, sorry. 
2 into s yes, 4800 divided by 75 that will give us 64 so 80 plus 64 equals to 144 now again to check optimality of this solution we should have delta j values to have delta j values we should have zj values and to have zj values we have to substitute the relevant variables here there will be no change in the first variable the first row because it was not key row so we are going to write x2 as it is but x1 will have we will have to drop x1 why it was a key row the variable of key row is dropped and in its place the variable of the key column is written so s1 will come here the coefficient of S1 in Z function is 0 and that of X2 is 24. Now we can write ZJ. 24 into 8 by 5 plus 0 into 60. 24 into 8 by 5. 24 into 8 is 192. 192 by 5 plus 0 is 192 by 5. 24 into 1 is 24, 0 into 0 is 0, so 24 plus 0 is 24. 24 into 0 plus 0 into 1, both 0. 24 into minus 1 by 50 is minus 24 by 50 minus 0. So it comes to minus 24 by 50. Again, still we are waiting for an optimal solution, so we are not going to write anything here. Still we get the optimal solution. Now it is turn off delta J values that is Cj minus Zj. 40 minus 192 by 5. 40 minus 192 by 5. Take 5 as LCM. 5 divided by 1, 5 into 40. 200 minus 192 as it is because 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 into 192 is 192. So it is 8 by 5 positive. 24 minus 24, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus minus 24 by 50. Ultimately, we have obtained positive value 24 by 50 or 12 by 25 here. But the important thing is, it is positive and ultimately we have all delta J values 0 or positive. So ultimately, we have arrived at the optimal solution of the problem. Since the objective is minimization, there should be all zero or positive delta values. We have achieved. So this is the optimal solution. But what is exact presentation of solution? Since x1 is not as solution variable, it is zero. x1 is 0, x2 is 144 and 144 into 24 that is 3000 minimum value of z I mean minimum z equals to 3456 I have readily available the multiplication of 144 and 24 so I can write it so fast you can check it on your calculator but this is the optimal solution now friend my personal comment is to solve a linear programming problem with only two constraints we had to prepare four simplex tables it is too long process it is too tedious if I think as a student is there any other way to solve this problem Yes, there is another way to solve this problem. Of course, at present I am not going to discuss the technique. But since this problem has all the constraints with same sign, we can solve this problem through another technique. Okay, by simplex method itself. We have to write dual of this problem. The dual of minimization problem is always maximization problem. The dual of the constraint having greater than or equal to sign will always have less than or equal to sign. So we can solve the dual of this problem through the simple simplex method. In the chapter duality, I will teach you how to solve this 
problem or the same problem through dual with lesser number of simplex tables. That's it for now. Thank you very much.